Good morning from the rainy state of Maine. Um, kicking out a video midweek. I know I said most of my stuff would come out on Sundays uh, over the summer, but I broke a thousand subscribers the other day. Uh, so I wanted to do a giveaway just to kind of say thank you. It's nothing crazy. I'm not doing YouTube to make money. Um, I actually started it in COVID as just part of a way to pass the time. And um, it's been a neat way to kind of make memories that I can watch, uh, a cool way to connect with people in the area that fish. And then uh, obviously if I can help people become better fishermen, learn how to fish or become better conservationists, uh, you know, that's, that's the win right there. So like I said, doing a giveaway, but also the point of this video is to show you guys how I do my gut hook removal technique when I gut hook a fish. Uh, I've used it probably 50 times or more in the past couple years. I catch well over 300 stripers a summer um, and it happens. You get an aggressive fish, small piece of bait, everybody who's fished has done it. Um, a lot of times the fish is gonna die if you don't do it right. Uh, and I don't believe just cutting the leader is, is gonna work. If you or I were walking around with a big piece of metal on our stomach, we wouldn't live. So. Uh, I think it's important to do this technique, but like I said, I, I captured it last weekend on film. I'll show it real quick so you guys can see just how quick and slick it is. Um, and then I'll, I'll, I'll describe using some visual aids what's actually going on so you know how to actually do it, what's, what's, what you're really looking for in this technique. So uh, check out the footage and I'll see you in a sec. All right, so I just gut hooked this striper. First thing I'm gonna do, Cut my leader, then I'm gonna see which way the hook's oriented, and I'm gonna feed the line down out of the striper's gill, away from where the hook is rotating. Then I'm gonna rotate it out. You can have a buddy help with this, but I'm just gonna step on it. Then you grab a pair of pliers, or in this instance, a D-hooker. You go in and you grab the hook. I don't know if you can see that. And you just lift it out. Now, his guts, everything is back down in the fish. He's completely de-hooked, he's not bleeding or anything. And I'm gonna swim him, which I'm probably not gonna have to do much. Ow. All right, so I'm just gonna talk about the technique real quick using some visual aids, because it's important to, to know. Um, but when I, when I talk about what I'm using to grab the hook, uh, I'm either using a set of de-hookers, you can get them online. I'm using a set of the old school gator grabbers also available online. And then uh, if I'm on my boat, I like using my mackerel, my bait de-hooker. This works really good too. So when you gut hook a fish, um, and again, visual aids, I'm using a towel to represent the fish's stomach and uh, my, a circle hook from shark fishing, which I'll never probably use for sharks because it's massive, but good visual aid. So this is kind of what it looks like in the stomach. The hook has grabbed a substantial portion of the striper's guts, and it's like this. So you disconnect your leader from the top here and you feed it out and down the striper's gills on this side and then you, have, you step on it or you pull down on it, you have somebody pull down on it and it rotates the hook in the striper's mouth like this. And, it, and it's important to keep tension on this so the hook stays in place when you grab it and you, you grab it right here with one of those things that I mentioned and you can just lift it out. It's gonna catch a little bit but it's way better than the alternative and you just lift it out of the fish's mouth. It's important to keep the tension down. That's why you'll see me step on it when I do it, or you have a buddy pull down on it so that you can pull the hook out. Guts go back down into the fish. You swim the fish, which is important, especially if it's a bigger fish, um, and, and you're good. Uh, you, you get your rig back, um, retie, or in my case, most times I'm, I'm fishing a surgeon's loop at the top so I can disconnect. And that's a simple technique, that's it. That's all you're doing. You're literally reversing the hook, lifting it out. Um, and just make sure you swim the fish so he recuperates. So for the giveaway, um, spool of 30 pound blue label Seaguar. This is what I fish with, ice fishing, salt water, you name it, this is it. This stuff's great. I'm gonna do a set of, uh, or a, a pouch of five aught, uh, Trocaw Eagle Claws. These are the best circle hooks. I've tried so many different types. I use these for schoolies and small fish. And then when fishing for big big stripers, I use Ninos. Um, and they're, they're just excellent. They're super sharp. So most times you do land up in the top of the fish. It comes out of the throat better. Um, 
And then finally, uh, a set of these quick connect uh, swivels that came out a couple years ago. I use these, um, like I said, when you tie the surgeon's loop at the top, you can just pop it. You don't even have to undo a clasp or anything. You just find, you'll see, you find this little hook in here and it comes right out. So um, in order to qualify for the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber and you have to share the video. That's all I'm gonna require. Uh, I don't know how to do the randomizer or all that other stuff. So like I said, I get a notification if people share the video. Uh, I'll check to see if you're a subscriber uh, and I'll get in touch with you and send this stuff out. So um, like I said, it's pretty cool. Hit a thousand subscribers. Um, hopefully this video helps people that aren't subscribed too. Um, you know, gut hooking a fish is never a good situation. Um, and if you're able to kind of revive that fish, get the hook out and let them swim off, it's perfect. You know, a lot of times we're fishing for fun. Uh, so it's important to protect the fish so that it doesn't die needlessly. Um, thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you are subscribed, thanks. Uh, I'll be putting out videos every Sunday. So hopefully you enjoyed this one midweek. Hopefully the weather improves up here in Maine soon so we can get back out. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.